Hey guys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about off-road camper trailer spare parts, the must-haves, or well, the must-haves that I have in my camper trailer when I go away on my long trips. I have a little grab bag here, I'll go through some of the things we, um, I've got in it, and uh, we'll go from there, all right. I'll show my grab bag first, eh? What do you reckon? All right, this is my grab bag sits in the camper. Everything that I need for my spares is in this little bag. Also have my torque wrench, which is in here. I'll quickly show you that one. And she's a beauty. Remember those wheel nuts you got to torque up and all the rest of it? Well, you need yourself one of these in your camper. I reckon anyway. It's a beauty. Look at that. You can also use that as a, um, an extension bar to undo those tough wheel nuts. Because you know, if you get a flat tire on the side of the road, you know, you got to torque your nuts up right again. All right, so that's that one done. Let's pop that off to one side. So that's my torque wrench. Okay, let's see what's in the grab bag. All right, first things first. You've aired down your tyres on your camper trailer and your compressor is way back in your car. So what do you need? An extension hose, because you've got to get your pressures back up to road pressures again when you off on the track, so I've got this one here, it's for my ARB compressor, which is in the back of the FJ. So that just uh, allows me to pump my trailer tires up to full pressures again. So that's always a good thing to have in your camper trailer. There's a bit of an extension hose. Another thing I keep my camper trailer, now, I learnt the hard way. I was on a trip and uh, I was out with a whole bunch of guys out of Birdsville at the Big Red Bash, which we're going to really soon. And I got to camp. And you know what? My solar regulator went and I didn't have a spare. Lucky, my mate Mitch happened to have a spare one. So what I did when I got back, I bought a spare one. Yeah, I know it's from Kings, but hey, it's better to have it than not to have it. So I learnt the hard way. So that's just my little Kings one I picked up for, I don't know, I think it was 20 bucks or something from Kings. It works fine, it's just a spare. Yes, I know it's Kings, it's just a spare. So that's one of the other things I keep in my camper as my spare parts. What else have I got? My little grab bag here. Oh, a bit of conduit, you know, for those wires and things that you, you know, might break or something like that. So I have a bit of that in the camper as well. What else do I have in here? Ah, now, you may ask, I have this connection on my camper, all right? What happens if I break down the side of the road? Someone's got to turn my camper back. And what if he happens to have one of those ones? Well, I'm in luck. He can turn my camper back. Isn't that great? Or if you're a tow truck guy or whatever it is, Handy, not just for you, but for your mates. So I carry that as a spare, you never know. Another spare I have for my camper trailer again. Trailer connection, now this is a full kit. This is for the, from the car to the camper trailer itself. It has a little wiring diagram on the back there, so if you get stuck, you can always follow that. So that's something else I keep spare. You never know, they can, can get destroyed. You're going on those tracks and bumpy roads and all that. So I keep one of them. Another spare, this is all in my grab bag. And of course, you know, the old tape, electrical tape, comes in handy. You just don't know, do you? You've probably got this as a spare in your, in your four wall drive, but if you don't, there's another one. Another thing in my camper truck, what else we got in here? Oh, uh, little dust covers for your Anderson plugs. You know, you never know. Um, electric, these, these little wire connector things, I, I really cannot for the life of me remember the name, but you know, if you've got to break a wire, you don't have a soldering iron, at least you can do it, join two wires up if they break. So, another spare. All these spares, I tell you. Uh, that's another spare. Anderson plug on the end, some jumper leads. You never know. It's a spare. Doesn't take up much room. The old WD-40. It'll get you out of the poo every day of the week. You know, you got stuck nuts or, you know, something's gone wrong you need to get a bit of lubrication on something, you've got your WD-40. That's in my grab bag. What else have I got? Oh, I've got lots of stuff in here. Wire connections again, just in case you break a wire. You know those ones you, you crimp down. Is this one, it's not even, oh there it is, it is open. You know, those ones there. You never know. Broken wires do happen. Glass fuses, I know they're old school, but if you've got an Ingle fridge or a fridge that requires them, You've got them. Spares for your camper again. Uh, what else do I have any? Ah. <clears throat> D shackles. 
I don't know how many times you see these sitting on the side of tracks where they've fallen off campers and trailers and what have you. Two spares, rated D-shackles. You never know. You might lose one one day. I'll show you a tip on that, how to keep that connected when I go away on my trip. What else do I have in here? Uh, a spare connection for my fridge. You never know your luck. Anderson plug could blow or your mate's fridge could blow. Pretty universal type thing there. Uh, what else? <gasps> Here we go. Anderson plugs again, or quick connects as they're called. Got one for a solar. Got one as a spare. And another as a spare. I do have a bad habit of breaking these on the tracks. My mates will tell you I'm always breaking these. So I've always got plenty of spares of those. What else do I have in here? Most important thing I've got in here, and I wouldn't go off-road without them with my camper trailer. Now, you often see those trailers on the side of the road with the wheels falling off, lack of maintenance, all the rest of it. It's usually wheel bearings. I carry a full kit of wheel bearings for my camper. Now, it's one of those ones built in China. They're all pretty much built in China nowadays. Um, why do I have my wheel bearings? Well, you could be out in the middle of nowhere and the shop that you go to might not have the wheel bearings that you need for your camper trailer or even your caravan. So I have a full set here of inner and outer wheel bearings, plus some uh, dust covers in there. They're all in my little bag here, kept nice and neat and tidy. So yeah, very important. Get your quality wheel bearings for your camper. Because as I said, if you're at that um, you know, repair shop trying to get your trailer bearings fixed and um, you can't get them for four days, you're stuck there for four days. But if you've got them in your car, bingo bango, you're laughing. Also a bit of um, wheel bearing grease. That's when I pack. I know it's a full tin. I may never use it, but it's there. Uh, what else have I got in here? <gasps> Solder. No good trying to reconnect so you know, these things on the side of the road when you don't have a soldering iron or something like that. So you can, there's plenty of people that have got hacks and things like that on YouTube on how to fix up and solder on the side of the road. A uh, couple of other little things. Uh, those, uh, these little ones here, these are crimping ones where you put your gauge wire in there and you crimp it down tight. You never know, wires do happen to come off cars. Uh, last but not least, another lot of fuses. A bit more electrical tape and one of these doohickeys here for your, um, oh, what do you call them? The, you know, the things. The pin that goes into your poly block hitch, you know, it has a little doohickey in there so it doesn't fall out. Well, you never know, it might fall out. So I've got one of those spares. And that is my grab bag of spares for my camper. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. Do yourself a favor. That way you keep in contact with me all the time. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.